हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन सो वी विल कंटिन्यू द रेगुलर सिलेशन सॉल्विंग सो लास्ट टाइम वी हैव सीन एल्गोरिथम हाउ इट टर्न आउट टू बी रेगुलर सिलेशन हाउ मैथमेटिकली वी कैन सॉल्व सो टूडे आई एम टेकिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज स्टार्सन इम्प्रूवमेंट ओवर मैट्रिक्स मल्टीफिकेशन यूजली मैट्रिक्स मल्टीफिकेशन वॉज टेकिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ एन क्यूब टाइम राइट एंड स्टार्सन गेव आउट वन एल्गोरिथम हाउ वी कैन रिड्यूज दैट मीन्स इट इज बिट लेसर दैन ऑर्डर ऑफ एन क्यूब so this is the recurrence relation given actually and we will be solving it so for that the prerequisite is the what is the value of log that is log 7 base 2 right so i have searched it on google so that this value will be used so let's solve it and then we will fill this blank right so let's continue how to solve it so recurrence relation is tn is equal to 7 tn by 2 plus n by 2 so what we will do we will replace n by n by 2 right if i am going to write it separately so what i will write t of n by 2 that will be 7 t this n by 2 replaced by n by n by n by 2 so at this will be n by 2 square right and this will be n square by 2 square right so i will substitute that this value here so this will become 7 so this thing will become 7 7 and t n by 2 will be 7 times the value which i have written on t of n by 2 square plus n square by 2 square plus n square right this value as it is right plus n square right so now if you multiply it this will become 7 square means just one step to solve it or i will write it here itself this will be 7 square t n by 2 square plus 7 n square by 2 square is 4 right so 4 plus n square this will become like this now means if i am writing it here right just to make it clear in the viewers mind n by 2 square and then this will become 7 by 4 actually n square right plus n square now i have to replace n by n square right in here n by n square n by 2 square actually earlier i replaced it by n by 2 now it is n by 2 square so what will happen n by 2 square means every time it is reducing by n by 2 right so in one more step what we will do again this 7 square is outside right so when i put here t n by 2 square right it is redu reducing by 2 so n by 2 then next will be n by 2 square so this will be 7 t now n by 2 square will become n by 2 cube right plus this will be n square so this will be n by 2 squares square plus these previous values 7 by 4 n square plus n square these two values right so it simply means if you want i will write it here just i have done t n by 2 square instead of n by 2 now 2 square so what it happen 7 t n by 2 square n by 2 square will make it n by 2 cube right and instead of n by 2 square what i will do this square this thing i have done so this will become 7 t n by 2 cube plus this is n by 4 actually right so this is n by 4's square 4 and 2 square is 4 right so n by 4 square right so i will just write n by 4 square right this is what i was trying to say so these two values are from above only right and this value is till this point right why i am saying so this 7 square now will get multiplied inside so this will become 7 cube t n by 2 cube 
प्लस दिस विल बिकम सी सेवन स्क्वायर बाई टू स्क्वायर राइट सो दैट इज फोर एक्चुअली राइट सो आई कैन राइट इट कंप्लीटली एज सेवन बाई फोर स्क्वायर राइट सो आई विल राइट इट दिस सेवन स्क्वायर सो आई विल राइट सेवन एंड दिस टू स्क्वायर इज फोर दिस स्क्वायर इन टू एन स्क्वायर वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू इज आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेक आउट वेरिएबल आउट साइड एक्चुअली राइट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट to go one more step this will become n by 2 cube right so the here 7t n by 2 ki power in third step it is 2 cube so when you are replacing it by 2 cube here this will be 2 power 4 right and this will be n by 2 cube right that will be 2 cube here and 7 cube will come actually right so if you want i will write one more step to make it clear so if we are writing t n by 2 cube if we are replacing n by 2 cube so this will become 7 t n by 2 cube into 2 right so it will be 2 by 4 right and n we will replace by n by 2 cube into square right so it will turn out to be 7 t n by 2 raised power 4 plus now what i am trying to do first value is 7 by 4 actually so i will take 7 means i will take 4 actually right so this is 2 cube is 8 so it this is 4 into 2 ka square right so what i will do i will just write n square right and 8 is 4 into 2 is 8 and that square i am writing i'll tell you the reason right this value will become 7t n by 2 raised power 4 plus this is 4 to ka 8 8 square is 64 so i can write n by 4 cube right 4 into 4 into 4 right why i am writing it so because i wa want to make it smooth here right how it will be concluded 7 cube right T two n by two power three. That will I will replace the green value here. Seven t n by two raised power four, right? Plus n by four cube, right? I will tell you the reason. I am making a pattern, and rest values are same. So I will write it with another pen here. These values, right? So this is seven by four square n square plus seven by four. n square plus n right so now what i will do i'll just multiply right so this will become 7 raised power 4 t n 2 raised power 4 and this 7 cube will get multiplied here so now this will become 7 means n this is n square right this is n square right so this is so this will become 7 By four cube, see cube n square and this seven by four n square seven by four n square right right so this is two value and we can write it as one and this is n square right it's n square from here which is coming so then this will be. Seven by four raised to power zero. We can write and n square, right? So this is how we solve it. Okay. So just to make a pattern, why? Because we want to solve it mathematically. So I'm making a pattern so that we can solve it, right? So this is first step, right? So this is first step and this is fourth step, right? This is fourth step till so fourth step. It is seven raised to power four, right? so if i move it for k steps as we are doing earlier also so if we are moving it k times so what this k times mean is when we ran it k times so it reduced right this value came under 2 actually this is the meaning actually termination condition this can be order of 1 or while solving can take it as 1 right constant value right 
so we ran it k times okay so how this equation will look like now this will look like if we ran it four time it is two raised to power uh four seven raised to power four so if we ran it k times this will become seven raised to power k t n by two raised to power k right and you see this value is one less than this right if it is four times so this value is one less than this right so i will just take n square out of it right so i'm taking n square out of it and what i will try to write 7 by 4 raised power 0 that is 1 only plus 7 by 4 raised power 1 7 by 4 raised power 2 and so on till 7 by 4 raised power k minus 1 right since we are seeing a substitution pattern right if it is 4 so this is 3 so if it is k this is k minus 1 so now we will come to termination condition right as i have told you earlier also how we can write conclude the termination condition so termination condition is something like this if n by 2 raised to power k goes to 1 right then this starson's recursive algorithm will get dissolved means here it will stop right so that will make is n is equal to 2 raised to power k right and k will become log to the base 2n right this we have seen earlier also right so now i will replace k with log to power 2n right so this will become 7 raised to power log to the base 2n this thing will become now t of 1 right so t of 1 means if the value is less than 2 right so it will take as 1 right plus n square 7 by 4 raised to power 0 plus 7 by 4 raised to power 1 till 7 by 4 now k is log to the base 2 n minus 1 right so this thing we can replace with 1 right now this is gp right this is gp 7 by 4 means every thing is getting multiplied by 7 by 4 is 1 only right so this is 1 plus 7 by 4 right so sum of gp actually plus 7 by 4 plus 7 by 4 ka square right so means multiplying by 7 by 4 so the sum of a gp is a into r is power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 where r is common multiple so here r is 7 by 4 right and a is first term a is 1 here right and 7 by 4 so this will turn out to be this thing will turn out to be left hand side will turn out to be i can write it completely here 7 log to the base 2n tn is 1 so i can replace it with 1 now and this is n square and this is infinite gp a is 1 first term r is to our n is r is 7 by 4 right and power is power is how many times it has run so this will become log 2n right if it is it ran this is the sum of a a r a r square till a r right right so this infinite gp sum is this so the same thing i am writing here right and this divide by 7 by 4 minus 1 okay so now what i mean to say is y means uh, you might say this is a 1 minus r raised to power n 1 minus r so when r is less than 1 or when r is from 0 to 1 means then we use this formula and when r is greater than 1 then we use this formula right so this is like mathematical background right so this is how we can write it okay so now this is 7 log to the base 2n right plus n square 
now this is constant value right so this will become 7 minus 4 by 4 so in asymptotic notations we tends to ignore the constant constants right so denominator we can ignore ignore right otherwise if you want we can write it as 4 means it will be 3 by 4 actually so denominator we can ignore in asymptotic notation this constant value means nothing so all we are left with 7 by 4 right multiplied by log 2n so we can approximately write it like this to solve it asymptotically right so if you take want to take you can take 4 as here and solve it right then also the value will come as same so this thing completely will come approximately around here right so now we will be solving it further so 7 log 2 n plus n square and this thing is 7 raised to our log 2 n and this is 4 right so I can write it as 2 square log to the base 2 n right and this thing we can take it here also right so it is like a log b and c if you are having k so this k can move here also right and if in in this case bases are same right so you can move this k here also that's what i'm saying so i'll just write 7 log 2n plus n square and this is 7 log 2n and this will become 2 raised power log to base 2 n square so the property of log is if in exponent and log base is same so this value we can directly write as n square this is the property of log itself right you can search on internet also if you want the proof you can get give in the comment section i will give you proof also so 7 log 2n plus n square 7 log 2n and this will be n square so this thing will get cancelled so this will time 2 times 7 raised to power log 2n right and again i was saying asymptotically we can ignore the constants and these things can be interchanged actually this is also a property of log exponent raised to power n so these two values can be interchanged right so this is almost equal to or i can write it 7 n raised to power log 2 base 7 right so 2 i am again ignoring for asymptotic notations right for bigger values so this will come as n log to the base 2 7 i already gave you in the starting the google value of log to the 7 2 that this value right so this value is 2.8073 2.80 so approximately if we want to bar it we can write it as log 2.81 right so this value will come as n raised power 2.81 so what starsons has achieved is this he has reduce the value from n cube to order of n raised power 2.81 right so this is what he has achieved actually so by fractional bit but he has reduced the value so reason being is he has taken the multiplication for 7 so currently we are focusing on how to solve these recurrence relations so this is how we solve it so hope you understood it if you have any doubt you can ask in comment section and we will be moving further in the series with few more challenging problems so thank you